considering a run in 2020 have signaled support for the sweeping Green New Deal, which you may have heard pushed by Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez and other Liberal members of Congress. David McIntosh is with us. He's with the Club for Growth. Now, look, this, this to me, this Green New Deal is a massive tax and spend program. I know you can destroy it as being unaffordable and irrelevant, but you know, it's going to be attractive to a lot of voters because it will give them free money. What do you say to that? You know, Stuart, uh, yes, like much of the progressives' plans, it would be a disaster for the economy and put us into a permanent recession, I think. It's a $41 trillion plan. Uh, even if you did the 70% tax increase that one of its big proponents, um, the new member Ocasio-Cortez, wants to do, I'd barely pay for it one one hundredth or one. I'm sorry, one tenth of it. So it, it doesn't work, but it's appealing. You know, it's like free college. It sounds good if yeah. you want to get a, go to college, but the reality is it's a disaster for society. Well, I raise the issue because Senator Elizabeth Warren supports this de this deal. Uh, Senator Cory Booker has endorsed it. Senator Bernie Sanders, he's all over it. He, he thoroughly supports it. Beto O'Rourke is supportive of the concept. I just don't think that we can dismiss it out of hand as something which will never happen. You wouldn't do that, would you, David? No, we've got to take it seriously and we have to educate the American people what's behind the label. The label sounds great. We're all for the environment a green plan, but behind it is massive unemployment, huge tax increases, a destruction of the oil and energy industry in America. Middle America that switched from Democrat to Trump, the, the famous blue wall, would be put out of business with this plan. So I hope the Democrats jump that far into the pool and go to that extreme left because that'll ensure Republicans win the next election. Uh, the government's been shut down now for over 20 days. I think it's 21 days as of right now. Is that, d tell me, is that affecting growth that much? No, I don't think so because effectively everybody knows that the salaries will be paid after the government opens back up. The money will come back into the economy. And frankly, what we're seeing is the part of the government that isn't working really isn't needed for most people. It doesn't have a big effect. This is, Stuart, really a power play between the president and Nancy Pelosi and Schumer who want to take away his ability to lead. And I think he's smart to say, I'm not going to give in to you. I've got the upper hand. The American people are with me. They want a secure border and want to deal with this crisis. And you're just playing politics. Got it. David, thanks for joining us. See you again real soon.